Hello and welcome back to the channel. I've been away for a while and this was due to the sickness. Uh, I had COVID, nothing pleasant to be honest. The second reason I was away is that I'm hosting a workshop in my company for people that would like to join IT industry about basics of web development and web programming. And uh, I was asked, uh, what is the easiest way to create a nice looking um, slider or swiper or carousel um, with basic HTML, CSS and JS. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So first things first, what I'm going to use is super simple um, swiper library, which is, uh, as you can tell from GitHub, really popular. And I'm going to create a few different uh, swipers that you can add to your own very simple web page. Um, for those that are using React or Svelte, you can see that there's also uh, a React API. Uh, for purpose of that tutorial, I'm going to just stick to the simple plain vanilla JS. Okay, so let's get going. As you can see here, I have new project open with nothing in it. So I'm going to just start by creating uh, index HTML. Nothing surprising here. I'm going to create another file. This is where our style will be. And we have another thing, which is, of course, swiper.js, but you can name it something like um, main.js. So let's, oops, not here. Let's generate the basic structure of our website. And that's it. I'm going to just change the title to be something like swiper cool swipe page. Okay. So first uh, interesting thing that we have to do here is to actually add the swiper library to our web page. And this is a little bit different than um, using NPM and installing package. Of course, we could do that if we were to use NPM, but since I decided to do this as simple as possible for, for the beginners to use and for people that even don't know what NPM is. Give me a second, I have to put on my glasses. Okay, that will do. We're going to refrain from using uh, NPM and instead we'll load the library uh, from uh, the CDN, which is Content Devil Network. And as you can see here in the documentation, we have to add two things. This is the uh, CSS file for the swiper with all the signing. So let's copy that. And of course, add it to our head. And second thing is loading uh, the JS file that contains the Swiper uh, script and Swiper library. So let's definitely add it before closing the body. Okay, with that done, we can get going. So what I'm going to do is link uh, my own styling that we'll create. So let's do link CSS and that's fine for now and also at the very bottom we have to load um, our own script and here is one problem that you have to be um, aware of when loading the external libraries like that you have to first load the library and after that load the script that is dependent on the library. Uh, other way you could get into some troubles when you're trying to use some part of the library before it's actually loaded. So libraries first, your own scripts second. Okay, uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add some basic styling. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is to 
uh, I'm gonna import the Roboto font. I'm gonna change the after and before. Um, these are pseudo elements that we have to change. So that's gonna be before. Um, box sizing set it to border box. Also, I'm gonna reset all the default margins and paddings provided by the browser. So padding set to zero, so I can specify my own. I'm gonna. Um, uh, what else? Let me think. Okay, I'm gonna just um, change our body font family. So let's go font family, and can I get yeah? And choose that one starting with uh, ecosystem. Okay, so that's good. Maybe shrink that a little bit. Uh, and basically that's all I wanted. So let's start with um, creating the first HTML structure for our first slider or swiper. So I'm going to create a div with a class project content. And we're going to use that as our main wrapper. I'm going to say something like swiper test and maybe something like uh, building stuff with swiper this. Okay. With that done, um, we're going to start working on our basic swapper. So it's going to be, let's add a comment here. First swapper, very basic stuff. And let's actually run it to see whether everything is configured properly. I'm running this project using a live server. You can uh, get that extension by going to extensions in Visual Studio Code and installing Live Server. And this is gonna uh, spin a little bit of development server for you. And let's go with open with Live Server. It should run it. Copy this and paste it here. Okay. Let's open up the development tools. And if you go to the network and you go to all, and load your page, you see that um, everything is being loaded correctly. And mainly we load the index.html and then we load the swiper bundle, uh, the CSS and JS, and also our empty file. Okay, so by seeing this, uh, I can see that, uh, or to be honest, to see, see by seeing this, I can see that my uh, external library, the swiper was loaded properly. Okay, so um, we will be creating a swiper uh, and we need to use some classes that are provided by the library, but also we have to add our own. So let's start with that. Um, the basic structure starting here. Uh, we'll need a few divs here. So let's create one with uh, class swiper and basic swiper. Okay. And here will go the content of our swiper. Then we need the, um, the wrapper for our slides. So I'm going to create swiper wrapper and this is generated by the Emmet extension that you should have in your Visual Studio code. And then actually I can uh, create five slides. So let's go with that. And uh, I'm going to make them different by providing the class. Uh, I will use that CSS class to change the color of my slide, uh, slide five. And let's provide some content. 
slot one, slot two. Slide four, slide five. Okay, that should be basically it for now. And now we have to actually add some styling. Uh, so let's start with swiper class. I'm going to say that it has some. Um, separation mm. let me see oh i'm going to start actually i'm going to start with the um with the project content of course so new project content uh i'm going to just justify item set it to center Align item, set it to center, and I'm going to also uh, say that, let's see, uh, that this is run by using X. Display X. Okay. Then the swiper. Let's start by adding actually the width and the height. Okay. Okay. Then the swiper slide, I mean the CSS properties that we have to apply to each uh, swiper slide. Actually, to make it more visible, let me just open it to the side. Okay, so now we're styling. Let's be named Swiper. Um, come on. Swiper slide. Okay, and this should also be Swiper slide because this is one individual slide. Okay, so I'm gonna add text align center display flex um, justify content center align items center and background position I believe center center everything then let's add um, slides just some colors for each and single slide so slide one this background color i have some co colors here you can of course use your own is F A F for seven A bring it up a little bit. Um, this is background color six four E three C one and the last one's gonna be slide five background color 9e 6f d okay so with that done i believe we can see what we've got here well <laughs> something like this which is actually nothing see we have a swiper wrapper here and this already has some classes but these are not created or applied by us by rather by the 
by the swiper styling, right? You can see it here, swiper bundle in CSS. Mm, our classes come from the style CSS file, right? Okay, so now it's time to actually make it work a little bit. So uh, how to do this? Well, um, I can create a swiper by using new swiper constructor. And if you don't know what new does, you definitely check this out, new keyword and the end by going to new operator. Basically, you create a new object by using something called constructor function. Um, in my opinion, there are better ways to create objects than constructor function, many factory functions, but this is pretty much the standard in some libraries when it comes to um, JavaScript. I don't recommend it, but hey, it works. Basically, we're creating new swiper object here. Uh, we're looking for a reference here to the class of basic swiper because this is where we'd like our swiper to mount so that's going to be basic swiper uh, and let's see what we've got no errors but still nothing we have to add a few other properties here so let's try that uh, let's see, we have to specify the direction and that's going to be uh, vertical for our case. And what else? Is this enough? Uh, not really, don't think so. So let's try and add other properties that could help. Uh, we have to have a way to basically somehow change our current slide. Okay, so I'm gonna go here below the swiper wrapper and I'm gonna create a div with a class uh, swiper scroll bar. Okay, and it's gonna be empty. And I'm going to create our class swiper button next. Okay. And swiper button breath. And also to make it fully functional, swiper pagina pagination. Okay. Going back to our configuration, right? Now, I can specify the pagination property and it's going to look for element with a class of swiper pagination. Oh, I know, I know why it's not working. <laughs> here we have a class of bas basic swiper with the small s and here I have capital S. Check your code for types like this. Okay, and already I can see that something's different, right? Still not working, but we're getting somewhere. Okay, so um, this is, let's try adding something simple right now. Let's try navigation to change this stuff, okay? And that's gonna be next element that's going to be swiper button next so we're going to use this div to as a button forward and we have to specify the previous element to create the previous button it's going to be and the class swiper button and we're using classes to um, give the reference to html element you could use ids too. Okay, let's see now. Um, still nothing. 
and you might be laughing but to make it work we have to oczywiście to of course uh, pass the same class right basic swiper with the dash instead of underscore so making typos again be a little bit tired here okay but what we've got now is this cool slider which is pretty nice and pretty fun of course we can change the direction to horizontal which will make the swiper horizontal which is cool the uh, next thing we can add is to add the population so let's do that and i'm gonna do as the element and that's gonna spawn these little dots here to inform us how many slides we have um another thing we could do is a clickable property here which is gonna make the um, dots here in the bottom pole clickable so i can click to the fourth and you can see uh, it's going to the fourth slide and also i can do height set to true and I'm not sure what this should do so let's see api and modules pagination let's see right okay i don't think that's a property hide on click but for the pagination we have hide on click okay let's see oh okay yeah okay cool so if you click you can toggle the um the pagination to be visible or not okay so that's uh, the basic swiper what is really interesting and a little bit more complex is that you can actually combine swipers to create the swiper that for example is starting horizontally and then after a few slides it gets horizontal and then goes back to vertical so uh, let me show you how to do that this is gonna be next swiper and i'm gonna create name it combined swiper and here um since we're gonna swipe both vertically and horizontally the structure is going to be a little bit more complicated okay so let's start by creating a swiper and it's going to be swiper container h and also swiper h okay then we need a swiper wrapper class um then we're gonna need first Two horizontal slides so i'm going to create swiper slide times two uh, i'm going to add um, slide one here and slide two let's say horizontal slide one and horizontal slide two and then I'm going to create the third slide, which is going to be both vertical and horizontal. Okay, so I'm going to create swiper slide and uh, swiper slide. Okay, inside, since this is also a start of a new swiper, which has opposite direction, I have to specify a swiper wrapper here. Then I have to create a slide for this uh, swiper wrapper so that's gonna be swiper slide of course and that's gonna be also slide three 
I'm going to say that this is horizontal slide 3 and vertical slide 1. And then I have to create two more slides. So it's going to be swiper slide times 2. And it's going to be slide, let's call, the, let's call that vertical slide 2. And the vertical slide three, and that's going to be the content. Okay, then I want to have pagination both for a swiper that is vertical as well as the swiper that is horizontal. So I'm going to create swiper pagination here. And we have to be very careful. Here's the end of our swiper wrapper. So that. And then we have the end of our slide. So here and here. So this is the place to create the fourth horizontal swiper to go back to swiping horizontally. So that's going to be swiper slide and slide. Four. Okay, and that's going to be horizontal slide four. So as you can see, we're going to start horizontally, then go to swapping vertically, and then back to swapping horizontally. And this also have. I think I missed a div here. So closing of a div. Uh, because here I want to have my swiper pagination, the pagination for the vertical slides. Okay, this is a little bit compact, complex, but it's going to make sense as soon as we we'll apply JavaScript to it. Uh, so let's add the colors for the slides. So file slide 2. Um, background color, and I'm gonna do something like C1, C1, six for E3, it's gonna be nice pink, and then V slide, um, three, make it nice orange background color E. C164. Okay. Cool. Uh, doing something here. No, not really. We can go to our JS. So basically, what you're doing here is you're creating two swiper objects. One for um, for vertical slides and one for horizontal slides. So let's create that. And that's going to be new swiper. You have to pass the reference. And this is, I'm missing something. Swiper slide. Yeah, right here, I have to specify, I'm going to create another swiper here. So it's going to be swiper swiper container v swiper v okay now it should make sense see yep it falls properly and that's that's one way you can check whether you wrote everything correctly okay so first a uh, horizontal swiper swiper container uh, H horizontal swiper yes that's correct okay so that's gonna be easy I'm gonna add something like pagination and it's gonna be pagination and that's gonna be element swiper 
pagination as a class and clickable true and let's see what we've got okay well we have something and as you can see it has horizontal slider side one two three and four so for now we're only swiping horizontally pretty much the same as previously okay and no buttons so you can just click and drag okay uh, there's a setting called space between 50 uh, and is there let's see space between uh, where's the definition Yeah, uh, distance between slice and pixels, right? And that could be useful if you're um, creating your swiper so that few are uh, visible. So we can basically get rid of that for now. And right now I'm going to create the uh, vertical swiper that lives inside the uh, horizontal swiper. So that's going to be easy too. That's going to be swiper container v okay uh, and then what we need is change the direction to be vertical and add the pagination so pagination we have elements also swiper pagination oh, why can i specify swiper pagination here and here basically um this is the class defining the swiper and it's gonna just grab the first um first div that has a swiper pagination so that should work let's go one two now we can see we have both pagination so i can drag down or i can drag right or left right here it doesn't work but here I have a swiper inside of a swiper so that's pretty neat uh yeah okay um the other interesting thing that you might do um let's actually see that here this is the slide this is swiper what if i'm gonna increase the width as you can see it increases the swiper right the size of my slide um let me see yep uh, so actually you can change it to be or something more uh and just to give us a little bit of separation, I'm gonna find the swiper edge here, or even so. Basically, we don't need those swiper edge. Get rid of that swiper B. This is unnecessary. Okay, I can find my oops here in CSS. I can find my. Come on, I can find my, Jesus, I'm going to say this, swiper container v, or even maybe swiper class, you have to find here, I'm going to say, or maybe I'm going to just do that, hit one, combine swiper, so that or two directional swiper better two directional swiper okay now we have a little bit of separation okay and uh, next thing what could you do if you'd like to have like swiper with thumbnails okay so money that below here i could i would like to have uh 
thumbnails of each slide for maybe better navigation and or for previewing the content. Uh, yeah, so let's try this. Um, we have to prepare our HTML structure, so I'm going to do swiper with thumbnails, okay? And then uh, let's do this. We need a swiper container. Uh, then we need do we need swiper container? No, or, or not? Yeah, we have to have it to uh, create the thumbnail. Then I'm going to create the main swiper with the big element. So that's going to be swiper main swiper and uh, then of course i need a swiper wrapper and uh, i'm gonna copy and paste the slides from here okay so that's pretty much it when it comes to the structure but then uh, i'm gonna do something very interesting here we need a div with a class of swiper and um, swiper. Uh, here we have to specify swiper wrapper. And basically, yeah, I can copy this too. See how it looks. Uh, basically, right now we have like to swipers, which is definitely not what I want. So let's uh, go to our JS code and initialize this properly. So for our main swiper, the big one, it's going to be the new swiper, main swiper, and we can get the we need navigation, uh, I could do with navigation. So let's add simple navigation by copying the buttons and pressing it here. Okay, navigation. Uh, I'm going to actually copy that. Um, and then I can specify the tabs property and specify which swiper should present the thumbnails. I think that's going to be thumb swagger, uh, which I'm going to create just above. So thumb swagger, that's going to be new swiper, thumb swiper. Um, I'm going to do slides per view, so how many slides should we present? It's for remote set to true and watch slides progress set to true. And let's see what we've got. Okay. Well, something that not looking so great. So how do you, you have to specify, I believe, thumb slider here. Uh, or do you and we check the styling here yeah okay we have to specify some styles so um, let's do the main thumb i'm going to increase the width here and i'm going to do uh thumb Swiper, I'm going to create by 30% and box sizing set to border box and thumb swiper, swiper slide should have, it should be semi transparent. So let's specify the opacity and then we can distinguish and check which slide in the thumb is active by using the swiper slide thumb active class 
and I'm going to change that to one. Okay, and you can already see what we have here. Um, we just separate this, separate that a little bit by saying. H1 swiper with um, X. Okay. Uh, and as you can see here at the very button, I have the uh, miniatures or thumbnails, and you can style them as you wish. Right? Maybe I could add, uh, let's see, maybe I could add a little bit of padding. Say four pixels. Okay, it's a little bit better. So I can navigate as I would with the center swiper, but also here at the very bottom, you can see that I have a little bit of preview of what's to come and what's going to be the next slider or how should the previous slider work. And if you click on it, you're also going to navigate to it. Okay. Um, what else about uh, swipers? You could add rather easily pretty cool effects to your swiping. So, for example, you know, I'm going to add effect. For example, one can be hearts, should work out of the blue. As you can see already, now I've got this cool card like playing card effects, maybe you could use that to create the next Tinder, for example, because Tinder is famous from its card swiping effects, right? And as you can see, it's pretty fluid and well animated. So just by, by specifying effect cards, we have something nice. Um, the next effect, I believe, is Q. Remember that correctly? Yeah, and as you can see here, what I have now is a, a revolving cube. Uh, yeah, you could also add some shadows to it. So there's a configuration for cube effect. There are also different effects, but I'm not going to show them all because that would take too long. Slide shadows through, shadow offset, when the shadow scale 0.94 okay and here you can see that we're getting those little shadows while revolving the the sides of our wonderful um, well it's not a cube but it's close enough to a cube okay the last uh, interesting thing we can do because yeah we're gonna hit around 15 minutes is creating the image swiper right uh, so yeah we're gonna need swiper container and uh, we're gonna need an image swiper and swiper we're going to swiper wrapper uh, and we're going to need swiper image slide at uh, times I don't want to three four five okay so let's go times five okay and what we have to do here is um, add information about the image that we'd like to display but first I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna add swiper button next and swiper button rev and swiper pagination of course and I'm going to also create a class. Well, no, let's start by adding the images. Okay, so uh, where you can get your images from, you just go to 
pixels and here you're gonna get a, a whole lot of really wonderful images so i have a few uh, created and i have a few urls stashed here so let's go with that you can provide any image that you want so let's go emg we're not going to provide src uh, as a standard attribute but rather data src which is a special attribute used only by swiper so let's create that this is the first url um it's self-enclosing of course move that okay uh, and i'm gonna just copy this and change the urls okay and let me copy paste my urls and that oh that's almost it okay so let's see what we've got uh, nothing for now uh, i'm gonna just add the information that this is the image swiper Okay, uh, and what now? We have to run it basically, which is going to be easy. We just need to create another swiper. A new swiper, image swiper, uh, and we're going to do the pagination uh, excuse me, that should be an object uh, clickable through and let me just copy that okay uh, what do we get uh, still nothing, which is a little bit worrying. Um, maybe the images are just loading. No, they're not. Uh, let's see, image swiper image swiper this is correct uh, okay so the reason we don't see our images is because we miss some styling so um let's do the image swiper first and it's gonna be the width of 70 percent just for fun and then what is important the image swiper slide image okay so we have to see the width to auto and the height to auto i'm going to set the transform translate to minus 50 percent and minus 50%. I'm going to set the position to absolute. Set the left to 50% and top to 50%. Okay, and still not working. Okay, of course, uh, I was using the wrong class. It should be swiper image slide. 
So let's fix this. Um, actually, now it has to be swiper, swiper slide. Sorry. So let me just change this to swiper slide and this isn't working still to make it work we actually have to fix few things first thing we need to place our navigation in the correct place like we did for the previous um, swipers then we have to specify these two properties basically we'd like to load the images uh, for the first time uh, when given slide is coming into view so we're gonna make it lazy style so only when given um, image is requested then I'm gonna add a class swiper lazy to actually make it work so here 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 and here okay and Let's see what we've got. Pretty nice, pretty fun. Um, we could change the the height, right, to be something bigger, like um, let's say uh, yeah, definitely better. So let's add that. Okay. But also you can see that they are now loaded and there's no loading time. But for the first time, there's this white uh, place when we're during the loading time. And we can add something more interesting by specifying another div below our image saying swiper lazy preloader okay and if we copy it across all of our slides then we're gonna get this interesting effect of you see the loader indicating that we're loading image with uh, which can be really helpful um, in the case we're loading really big images Okay, so there's one more property I wanted to show you. And uh, let me see. Parameters, yes. Um, somewhere around slide classic. As you can see, this is very extensible and very. Um, very configurable slides per view uh, okay let's see what happens if we specify slides per view and set it to two for example in our first swiper so let's get rid of the effect for now and say slides per view set it to two I hope what we get, yeah, as you can see, you can get two slides, right? So this is cool. You can, you can have few slides and it's going to look way better if we go to our swiper and change the width to be bigger. Now you can have two slides across or you can get even more. And let's find our basic swiper here. Basic swiper and set the width to be something more. Uh, oh, it's being overridden by the class below. And uh, never mind, let's just do that. Okay. Now you can have the 
parallel, right? Presenting few slides and moving left to right. And it can be cool if you'd like to present, for example, few photos um, next to each other. And applying this below, our photos, let's do slide per view and set three. Uh, will it work? Kind of, sort of, but they are smashed together, as you can see. Okay. Yeah, but basically that's it. That's the basic, the simplest way, at least for me, to create a, a swiping a animation, swiping element in your HTML, CSS, JS project. Okay, um, yeah, next episode is going to be about React and Flexbox uh, and TypeScript and the stuff that we love. I am also planning to record more about Unity because I'm really diving into the game uh, development and also maybe tell you a little bit about something called SolidJS. So I hope you enjoyed that one and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.